Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy and in today's video I want to be talking about my week number seven trade targets for fantasy football in 2021. Inside today's video I want to be going in depth into a couple of players that I believe you guys should be looking to trade for right now before it is too late. But before we can get on into things I would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying today's video to please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Not only is it free we put out content every single day to help you guys win your 2000 and 21 fantasy football championship and while you're down there whether you are new to the channel or not please make sure to leave a like on today's video it would help us out a ton so without further ado let's get into my week number seven trade targets beginning with dj Moore, wide receiver of the carolina panthers now Moore was one of the top end wide receiver options through the first four weeks of the season but as of recently his production has really taken a dip it has taken a dive off the edge of the earth failing to achieve 10 half ppr points in the last two games last week up against the Minnesota Vikings, he saw 13 targets for just five receptions and 73 yards, despite his recent poor performances, the targets have still went his way. So it's not like DJ Moore has kind of fallen off because he's not getting targeted anymore, and maybe they're throwing the ball more to Robbie Anderson or more to Terrence Marshall or more to the other pieces on this offense. That has not been the case. He has still been getting a very similar amount of targets with a very high target share inside the Carolina Panthers offense. The issue has really been nothing to do with DJ Moore, more to do with Sam Darnold, but it appears that the coaching staff and Matt Rule are continuing to try to mold this off offense back to get kind of that spark that Sam Darnold had earlier on in the season and I think right now is the perfect buy window for DJ Moore because he is down two bad games in a row failing to eclipse over 10 half PPR points and this week he gets the New York football Giants. So if he plays great up against the Giants this week, then the trade window basically completely shuts or you're going to have to pay a lot more for DJ Moore. So make sure you pick him up right now. Make sure you trade for him right now because the price you're going to pay is going to get significantly bigger as the weeks go on, especially after what should be a humongous game up against the Giants. Next up, we move to a running back with James Robinson, running back of the Jacksonville Jaguars. One of the best times to trade for a player is when they are either hurt or on buy. And this week, James Robinson fills the category of being on a buy. With teams getting desperate, with six total teams being on buy this week, scooping up James Robinson will never be as easy as when teams are this down bad with the bye weeks. He is currently the running back number seven in half PPR and is showing absolutely zero signs of slowing down. After being live in the doghouse to begin the season in weeks number one and two by Urban Meyer. He finally escaped that metaphorical doghouse in week number three, and he has been running free ever since, topping 20 half PPR points in three of his last four showings. And his one down game, it wasn't like 10 points. It was over 17 points. So James Robinson has been a very reliable piece of this Jacksonville Jaguars offense ever since Urban Meyer kind of uncovered the code on how to use James Robinson. I know might be a little bit difficult to hand the ball to the best player on the team, but Urban Meyer figured it out and he continues to utilize that strategy. And going forward, James Robinson has the potential to be a top five running back in fantasy football. So go ahead and trade for him right now while he's on by right now for a very, very, very cheap price and continue to reap the benefits of the Jacksonville Jaguars offense, which may sound a little bit scary, but in my opinion, James Robinson will be just fine, even if the Jaguars offense isn't all that great. Next player to talk about here is tight end of the Philadelphia Eagles, Dallas Godard. With Zach Ertz shipped out of town to the Arizona Cardinals, the Dallas Godard era is upon us in Philadelphia. When looking at last season and this season thus far, the duo has played in 12 games together and Godard has played in four games without Zach Ertz. In those four games, Godert is averaging 10.12 half PPR points per game. With Zach Ertz in the lineup, he's averaging just 7.96 half PPR points. This is due to an increase in all categories of targets, receptions, yards, and touchdowns when Zach Ertz isn't there. Match those splits with how much the Philadelphia Eagles throw the ball to the tight end with how much they look to heavily utilize a tight end and with how much Jalen Hurts likes to throw the ball to a tight end we have the recipe for not a disaster a potential top five tight end 
in fantasy football. Everyone all offseason was clamoring for Zach Ertz to get traded to the Indianapolis Colts to be with his old friend Carson Wentz in Indianapolis, and it never happened. But as the weeks went on, it seemed more and more like Zach Ertz was going to end up getting traded, and he finally gets traded to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I understand the Dallas Goddard price may be a little bit higher than it was last week because of the move of Zach Ertz leaving to go to Arizona, but I believe this is key. The fact that Zach Ertz is gone is key to the success of Dallas Godert, and I believe he will be very successful without Zach Ertz, as he will be seeing an increased target share, increased receptions, increased yards, increased touchdowns. Basically, everything that gets you fucking fantasy football points is going to be increased without Zach Ertz, so I love Dallas Godert going forward. But before we can get into the final player to be trading for, I'd like to let you guys know that we have partnered with Yahoo Fantasy this NFL season to bring you guys some great offers. Check out our exclusive limited time offer, which gets you guys one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum. To qualify, you need to be new to Yahoo. Sign up for an account via the link down below. Deposit and play. That's it. Yahoo will send us your name after you play in your first paid contest, and we'll reach out to you via email with the coupon. If you need immediate access, please email support at Osmo.com. Again, support at Osmo.com, and we will get you set up immediately. You can also claim a free $10 $10 below, which can be used to enter any Yahoo contest. Make sure to use our DFS tools and projections specifically designed for Yahoo to give you guys your best chance at winning big again. Make sure you guys do check out Yahoo Fantasy. Final player to be trading for, we're back in the running back well with Uncle Lenny, running back of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette is currently the running back number 13 and half PPR, and last week up against the Philadelphia Eagles, this man went to pound town. So a lot of times, people are looking to buy low on fantasy football players because, hey, they've had these last couple of down games. Now I want to go ahead and, and scoop them up on the cheap, but this is kind of the reverse of that. You're buying high on Leonard Fournette, but I believe he's going to finish higher than the number 13 running back in fantasy football. Last week up against the Eagles, he had 22 carries for 81 yards, and not one, but two touchdowns in that game, as well as having six receptions on six targets for 46 yards. He has completely broken the mold set by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year. That mold is a very confusing backfield week in and week out, where there's tons of switches going from Leonard Fournette to Ronald Jones, back to Leonard Fournette, back to Ronald Jones. Bruce Arians will get up there on the podium and tell you after the game that, hey, guess what? Next week, it is Ronald Jones week. You better fucking believe it. And then you get to next week, and then you see Leonard Leonard Fournette toting the rock a million times. This was kind of a system where if Bruce Arians saw that you made a minute mistake, he said, I don't want you anymore. He throws you out. But this year, he has went with Uncle Lenny, and this is very, very good for Leonard Fournette's production week in and week out. And if this continues, as I assume it will... Leonard Fournette will continue to be a beast in fantasy football, and the reason why I think a lot of people will be willing to sell Leonard Fournette is because of the worries from last year. If you drafted Leonard Fournette last season, you were burned heavily by the Buccaneers system. But that system has seemed to completely shift to a Uncle Lenny favorite system. So I love Leonard Fournette. Go ahead and trade for him right now. So thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you did end up enjoying, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like on today's video as well. I love you guys all so much. Make sure you guys check out Yahoo Fantasy. And as always, guys, make sure you have a great rest of your guys' day. Good